Okay, so let's take this function and look at it on, well, pretend that they're, you know, the z-axis is coming out of the, out of the paper like that, okay? So this function, okay, I, I use it all the time because it's a very good example. It's easy to visualize. I have a, I have a shape, and we can do some stuff. So recall from partial derivatives. Okay, if I, if I was taking the partial derivative of this function with respect to x, um, it would give me, you know, the rate of change um, over the x-axis, basically. Okay, um, wouldn't wouldn't incur any change in, in y because I'm not going this way. I'm only going this way and likewise with the y, okay? So what we'll ask ourselves is, you know, what would happen if I were to take, you know, the rate of change with respect to some something else, like say a vector. That's about a 45 degree angle, so, so let's say that vector, let's just call it 2, 2, okay? Um, and, you know, if we're gonna have to, if we're gonna take the derivative, we're gonna take the derivative at, at a point, so let's just call it um, eh, 1, 1, just to be easy, okay? So we're going to look at the derivative, and we're going to look at what's going on at the point 1, 1, okay? And, you know, just, just by looking at it, you know, if I, here, here's the point 1, 1. I don't know if I made it big, but you know, it's probably somewhere right there, okay? Um, you know, the derivative should be negative. If I'm go, going in this direction, I mean, I'm going downward, aren't I? Yeah, so so if, 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 if we take the derivative there, it should be positive, or it should be negative, and if I take the derivative over here, like negative 1, 1, it should be positive, okay? So let's go, let's look at the formula real quick for a directional derivative. Um, the notation, at least the way I know it, is D, it's, it's big D, just like the old school derivative, it's got a subunit vector, and then it's just, you know, F. Um, and I guess you could put P sub O like that, okay? And what that's equal to, okay, that's equal to the gradient of F at, you know, whatever point you're interested in. And it's it's dotted with the unit vector. Okay, so, so the unit vector is just V divided by its magnitude, right? So let's find out what the magnitude of V is pretty easy. That's just four plus four. So that's just square root of eight, right? So let's see here. So U is equal to square root of eight, square root of eight, or two over square root of eight times two over square root of eight, okay? Um, the the gradient is just about as easy. Okay, it's um it's going to be and of course at the point of interest I'll put it I'll go ahead and write it. It's just negative two Negative two. Okay, so so um, my directional derivative, we'll just call it dd for short, is going to be equal to. Um, am I on the page? Okay, so I'm going to assume I'm just going to dot these together. So I'm going to take two over the square root of eight. I'm going to dot it with negative 2, negative 2, really easy dot product here. Okay, so let's see here, this should be, yeah, that's just going to be equal to negative 4 okay, which is negative 8 over square root of 8. Um, if I rationalize that, I get uh, well, the ne I'll get the negative eights again. It's all cancel out, so it's negative two, two, and that's um, see, that's, that's negative two times one point one four, so that's approximately negative two point eight two, and that, and that makes that that makes pretty good sense because you know the the derivative is is definitely negative right there. It's going downhill, um, you know, and everything seems uh, fairly obvious. 
okay? And likewise, if I took, let's say, let's say I took the derivative over here at negative one, negative one, I should get a positive number, right? So, so if I plugged, so if I plugged, um, well, if I took my gradient of f at negative one, one, I would get a positive two, two. Okay, and then I, and then I dot that with my unit vector. Yeah, and then I get four over square root of eight plus four over square root of eight. So I end up with exactly, you know, the opposite. So, so and, that, and that makes sense because this is a symmetrical function. It's the same on both sides. So the gradient um, should be just exactly the opposite on, you know, uh, you know across the origin um, as it is, as it is there. So hopefully, that, hopefully that was pretty good. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty easy, it's not too tough to find, really. Um, you know, so I think I think the uh, it got kind of jarbled up here, but that's all you really need to know. Yeah, okay, you just you just take the unit vector and dot it with the gradient, and then you got yourself a directional derivative.